This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 32 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. Alright, let's start off by selecting this, going under here, uh, edge, select these two, uh, connect, just one, and select the polygon on the outside and you're going to want to just extrude it straight down to about here okay uh, inset it zero amount and then you're going to want to grab the edge and just pull it out just so it's flush and then oops, sorry, grab the polygon and extrude it down a bit more and extrude it to the floor okay I grab that edge, that edge, that edge and that edge and give them a chamfer there. Okay. Now, that's kind of clumsy, but I I thought there was a door right here when there actually wasn't, because I didn't look at the reference images. Okay. Um, looks pretty good. And select this base and then select the top edge in there uh, connect it don't connect uh, connect it Okay, select this one and this one. Connect. There we go. And you're going to want. Uh, let's put just one connection in there. And do the same for the other side. Connect. Okay. Next. You're going to want to select both those polygons and actually grab both those edges first and pull them back a bit just so they're about equal right here. Now grab those polygons, press inset. I'll just inset them a little bit for now. And, oh, oops. Alright, when you're insetting them, make sure you press the Buy Polygon button. And select those, and just scale them away. Okay, you can't do that. Uh, grab those vertices. Oops. Grab the vertices and scale those away from each other. Yeah, that works. Alright, you're going to want about a third of this and select both these polygons here make sure they're not sticking out anywhere and uh, bevel them upward to get uh, like a weld mark or something going on up and in okay and then you're going to want to extrude them about mm, about fourteen. Select the edges oops, edges and chamfer them. Give this one kind of a big chamfer. Okay. And 
and select the top polygons again, inset them a bit more this time. Okay, uh, you're going to want to bevel them, use the same bevel as before, extrude, extrude it by about um, one, and bevel it one last time. Okay, and then here, uh, select the edges, connect those, connect those, and then select those two, and connect it twice, and do the same for these two. Connect. Alright, just grab those vertices and drag them down a bit Get these vertices and drag them up a bit okay let's work on this one first uh, extrude it about one looks good then select the bottom polygon Okay, and just extrude that one straight in, just to cover it up. Uh, next, you're going to want to get both those and extrude them out about 5.36. Get the top one and drag it just a little bit before there. Okay, polygon, inset it a bit. Okay, bevel uh, inward, I guess. That's pretty good. Alright. And on this side, we're going to want to create a polygon here. Extrude uh, about 0.75 and grab the polygon right underneath there extrude that one in and then select the top polygon here use the hinge from edge tool pick hinge pick the one right below the surface there uh, 90 and 9 okay and that little space right there doesn't really matter but if you don't like it you can this work select all of them and just Alright, select all of them and just drag it down. And now it's disappeared. Alright, uh, select all of these polygons right here. Inset as a group. Not too much. And bevel by polygon about negative 0.18 and negative 0.27. Okay. Uh, next, we need select this edge and select right there and right there. Connect. It worked. Connect them twice. All right. Just scale them outward a bit just so they're about touching. Select this polygon here, hinge from edge, pick hinge, pick the hinge right below there. Make it 90 again, except when you do this, give it 5 segments. Then select each of those individual segments, inset. Uh, by polygon. Okay. Good. And bevel them inwards a bit. Okay. 